We're chilling. We're chilling with Rick. He's going to get to the story quick. Yeah, we're chilling. Yes, we're chilling with Rick. Chilling with Rick, everybody. Man, chilling with Rick. Oof. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's been seven long months since I've done this, and I miss you guys tremendously. Welcome to season five. This is great. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Um, it's just great to be back. <laughs> I don't want to get too emotional. I'm already starting to lose my mind. <laughs> I got to thank Finish Line Design for this awesome banner thank you finish line design and people want hats now all of a sudden so i'm going to be buying a bunch of hats so you guys did phenomenal thank you very much um thank you guys to get me the final eight of the sammies for the third year in a row what a tremendous honor that is um i want to thank mike ferrar for the awesome theme music which should be on before this actually rolled um Bill DePaulo for putting me on the Calet Marquee for damn near two weeks. I want to thank Genesee Joe for the radio ad. I really appreciate you, brother. I'll see you next week. And Mike Jake Ways for the newspaper article. Uh, that was a cool thing. It's always an honor to have him do that. That was the fourth one. And a big, huge thank you to my beautiful fiance, who's actually out here this time, for doing all my chilling gear. I appreciate it beyond words. I'm losing my mind again already. It's so good to be back. <laughs> All right, I got to get to my sponsors without losing my freaking mind here. So I'm from a reptile place all the way to a carpet place. You guys got to bear with me. It's all walks of life that are sponsoring me. Upscale Exotics, reptile and only specialty store that carries exotic reptiles looking for homes. They have snakes, lizards, geckos, turtles, Chameleons, tarantulas, it's a store of the creepy guys. It really is. That's what he told me to say. And more. With all of the supplies, enclosures, and food. I'm telling you, if you're going to buy a snake, you're going to want an enclosure. <laughs> it's your one-stop shop, and they have a knowledgeable staff located at 145 West Seneca Street, Cheryl, 315-367-5002. Games People Play, formerly Mind Games. It's a game store with so much more. They've been in business for 28 years. They have Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and also sports cards. They also have retro video games and board games. Weekly events held in store and a knowledgeable staff located at 114 Madison Street, Oneida, 315-363-2448. Whitestown Automotive. Whitestown Automotive. Quality repairs at a good price. Located just up the Thruway Bridge in Westmoreland. Boogie Dad's Music. Working on a producing and distributing music on all platforms. And great royalty kickbacks for performers. Oneida Carpets. <laughs> Winslet. <laughs> Got to make this one a good one. Oneida Carpets, family owned and operated by Scott and Lynn White. They're both installers. They install carpet, laminate, vinyl, luxury vinyl. Remember, I got to ask what luxury vinyl is. Plank flooring and ceramic tile. All of your flooring needs in one store. They're located at 174 Madison Street in Oneida, 315-361-9800. Big Girl Stump Removal. Do you have a stump that needs to be removed? I'm talking about a tree stump. <laughs> Are you tired of looking at it and you want it gone? Then call up Big Earl. He's a great guy, the very fair prices, and he'll grind the stump right down to the roots for you. Give him a call at 315-363-5217. Papa Top. Outdoor deck, Adirondack chairs, picnic tables, bar stools, food. Great beer, not that I drink, but people tell me it's great. <laughs> it's like Florida out there on that deck. It really is. Get your friends together, go have a good time, and enjoy live music at Papa Top. Frog's Bar. Outdoor bar, picnic tables, Adirondack chairs, two fire pits. When it comes that time of the year, we're not going to rush that. Uh, Mary, the owner down there, is phenomenal. She treats me like royalty every time I'm down there. Gives me a hug. I appreciate it, and uh, I love going there. 
Get your friends together once again. Go down there for live music outdoors all summer. Oneida Kalet Civic Center upcoming events include NU Wrestling May 27th. I'll be there. Coming in October, October 22nd, Absolute Adele at 3 p.m. And make sure you get your tickets for that. Also, coming on Saturday, February 24th, 2024, is Appetite for Voltage, a Guns N' Roses ACDC tribute band. Get your tickets at OneidaCallet.com. And I got to give a shout out to the boys at Disruption Network, Justin Smithson and Z. Thank you for mentioning me every week for the past couple months. I appreciate it, guys. Now it's my turn to reciprocate. And the good, the band, and the ugly, Big Papa and Jeff. I just did an episode with them, guys. It's going to air May 22nd. All right, now the bills are paid. I have with me today someone I look up to. He's like a big brother to me, much older than me, much, much older. <laughs> He's telling me I'm number one. He's uh, a guy I consider a brother, and we call each other often, and today he's not yelling at me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, lead singer before August, Kevin Pratt. Oh, Lynn White, Lynn White, my bad. <laughs> he just texted me. He's like, how'd your interview go? I'm like, I'm getting ready to do it right now. He's like, oh, shit, it's not live. What's going on, man? Nothing. What's up? Ah, too much. I don't know if you guys can see it, but Lynn is wearing pink flamingo shirt. That's awesome. On roller, on roller skates. On roller skates. Yeah, yeah. Not allowed to show my underwear. You know. <laughs> I got choked up during that, man. It's good to be back. You got to stop. Don't worry about it. Don't get choked up, man. Just let it go. Yeah. You, you know I almost did let it go. Yeah. Well, don't let it go like that because everybody's going to go, let's see. No. No, no they're not. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, season five. Season five. Welcome to it. Pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool. Um, nice little setup here. Yeah. I, I got like, an outdoor rug. I, like I got that. a beautiful banner. Hell I yeah! Like that. We just got our new banner. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta go. I gotta get it from Kevin. Yeah. Um, changing it up, changed up the logo a little bit, obviously, from yep. different from that one. And I like the new logo. Little symbol. People yeah. think it looks like you know satanic worshiping. It's not. I was sitting there doing, looking through signs because you know would be, would it be a name before August? Yep. Yeah, I'm like, all right. What's the what's the sign for it? So I looked up July and it's like, yeah, I didn't like that. And then August, I didn't like the sign. So one look, yeah, just look them up sometime. They don't look normal. And I didn't mm. want to get our balls busted. So I said, all right, I'll come up with it. And so I just messed around. And the first thing in my bass player says, it looks like satanic, some satanic thing. I'm like, dude, it's not. It's supposed to be like a sign. It's not a math problem. It looks like a sign for y'all, you know, an astronomical sign or something like yeah. that. So. We're doing that because Kevin, Kevin had said that uh, we really needed to have something different than just the name yeah. and the logo, like 169, they've got the lips. You know Prince did that, he went to a logo. Yeah. What do you think? How do you think that worked out for him? <laughs> <laughs> he went back to Prince, right? He did. No, that. he was just saying How something. How do you introduce him, the guy yeah. with the symbol? Just, but no, he, I, which I get, you know, because like the way it is, when you see a broken rule, you know the BR you know what it is yep. and you just you know 169 you know the lips so you just see it and it, it made sense yeah and trying to figure out something to come up with and I think I did that at like 12 30 at night and I was just like bored and I'm like eh, playing around and I know the feeling yeah it's like oh you know what I didn't bring one for you I didn't bring one for you sorry <laughs> it's all good <laughs> Um, I'm gonna switch that out. I didn't know you wanted orange. Yeah, I want the orange. All right, you got it. The uh, you want real fluorescent or like a dull orange? Mm. I have all colors. Oh, I want fluorescent. All right, you're fluorescent. a fluorescent kind of guy. Yep, yep. yep. I'll set that there. I'll put that there. Who's the pussy now? <laughs> when I told Jennifer, she got me a pair of Converse one time. She got me the orange ones. Mm. I opened them up. I'm like, oh. I wanted the other orange ones. She goes, not the bright orange ones. Those are like kid ones. I'm like, no, they're cool. I want the bright orange ones. No. You didn't get them? I got the dull orange ones. So I got to find the orange, the bright orange ones because I want them. You have fingers that can order shit, right? <laughs> it's easier if I have Jennifer do it. It is. It is. My wife just said night up. Oh, you know, I got to tell you, I, and, and I'm going to put you on the spot. I know this oh, no. is an interview about me, but let's turn the table and ask you a couple questions. Please um, do. When are you and Alex getting married? 
You keep saying fiance. That's, this has been five years. You've been doing this for five We've years. We've been engaged for eight. Time to do it, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think you got to stop being yeah. a little. So stop <laughs> introducing her as your fiance and yeah. just. Let's just do, do it. it. Unless right. she doesn't want to. Are which, you ordained? Actually, I am. You are? I am. I'm not surprised. But you know what? The only thing, I'm ordained, but there's certain, there's certain people, like I, I got ordained so I could marry marry off my niece, Emily. And so I did that. And then some neighbors from when we lived in Cheryl, their daughter was getting married and her and her fiance at the time had asked us, you know, asked me, hey, would you do this? So I'm like, oh, okay, I got to do this. So I think it was the day before Jennifer helped me come up with some things because I've known my neighbor Kira since she was born. Yeah. And we used to babysit her. She's just just sweet girl. And uh, Jennifer told me, she goes, read it a couple of times. Then this way you could go and do it. So I'm like, ah, all right. So I read it once. It was okay. Oh my God. The day of the, <laughs> the, day of the wedding. <laughs> I'm up there, and I get to the part about, you know, the, the, the personal part about it. I start freaking bawling, like, oh, and I'm like, you know, here this little girl that I've known since she was born, I'm marrying her off, yep. and I looked at her father, and I'm like, Chuck, Chuck, and it was funny because it wasn't a religious thing, yeah. but the her mother, Elise, had said, well, we did get some religion in there because I had a lapel mic right here. I and know. all I kept saying was, Jesus Christ, come on, like, pull through, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize the microphone was picking everything up. <laughs> so, like we just did. But yeah, so I'm ordained. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, <laughs> so I've got a niece of mine that is in, that I think if I have to marry her off, if I have to do her wedding, I'm going to be a basket case on that one. Just like her dad is going to be a basket case because he's also ordained. My buddy Chad is also ordained. Okay. And if my daughter has him do the wedding, he's going to be, he'll be worse than I am. So, yeah. but anyway, I'm ordained. Okay. So, long story short. Blessing, blessing for you. <laughs> blessing for you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, we should get married. I, I mean, I can't see myself with anybody else. And nobody else can see themselves with me. <laughs> you gotta ask her the same thing. Yeah. Oh, she already. Said. <laughs> I'll speak for her. There you go. Where is she? She's in the house. She went inside. Okay. She's like. She I'm got good me set up. I'm good to go. Yeah. She wanted to make sure I was good and perfect for this one. Yeah. No, she set it up nicely. Yep. I mean, I tried to put the phone on a tripod. And I missed the whole damn thing. I'm just. I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> I wasn't really nervous, scared. It's just the anticipation of coming back after seven months, man. It got emotional. Yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah, but I think seven months is kind of long. I yeah, I'm not doing a, that again. I wouldn't again. do it that long. You know, take a couple months off. Yeah. Um, because you don't want to do it outside. I figure once or you want to do it outside. So I mean, you want to do it during the warm weather. Why? Yeah. yeah. It's just like a TV. They yeah. got to have their they have their seasons. Yep. Let it happen. Yeah. You know. This is one of sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I booked out of love, Lynn. I really did. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you got a lot of interviews going on. Yes, Hopefully, you have some good people on here. I got great people coming. Good, yeah. good. Joe Altier. I know you don't really know him, but he's coming. Bill Ali's coming someday. Who's, not sure who Joe is. is. That just Joe? Yep. All right. Just Joe. I saw that. What the heck did he do? What song did he do? And everybody, even the band, saw. It. Oh crap! He's done. A lot I can't of think of what he did, but yeah, he's. I check him out. I see him. I'd like to go see him live. Um, Motif Saturday night. I'm going. Uh, Saturday night. We are. My my buddy. My buddies are playing down at uh, uh, Harpoons, Please and Iris. Okay. If They're not, phenomenal. we'd be going to see. We'd be going to see 69 because 169 is at 233. Love 233. 233 is good to us. We got another show. We did a show a couple. About a month ago over there at 233 inside. That was a blast. Um, and we've got another show, I think, coming up in June over there at 233. And then we're trying to get into a couple other places and uh, like to scope out, you know, harpoons, talk yeah. to them and everything. But yeah. uh, Police and Iris is, is there Saturday night. Awesome. And then I love her band. She is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. They, they, 
everybody in that band is, is really cool. Um, the bass player, he's not right, but he's, you know, they've, they've, he's not right, but he's got a lot of talent. He's funny. He's funny as hell. Um, that's why I'm saying he's not right. Glenn, let me tell you something about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normal. Yeah, I'm, trying not to, I, I'm trying not to swear. Yeah, I don't. It's going on YouTube and everything. Right, so I of, don't, you know. No swearing this year. No, mm -hmm. no, because you can you can say shit because shit is, is a lot on TV now. Just go ahead and say it, Len. You, you can't say <laughs> I'm going to try not to drop the F-bomb, okay? Please don't. And, um, what's Joe going to do? Joe's going to actually bring his keyboards and everything and set up. And no, I'm talking... <laughs> About Genesee. Oh, Genesee Joe, he's gonna sit here and talk. Bring well, his dog. he's gonna need to wear a shock collar when, <laughs> when he drops the f bomb, like he did on Disruption. No, I'll tell was, him. I can't think of how many they said. If that I he tell would. somebody don't swear, they're gonna not swear. <laughs> <laughs> we're all adults, man. <laughs> I mean, this. last year we were f bomb, f bomb, Damn. and f bomb. My my buddy Sarah. What Cook. are they gonna do? A, what are they gonna do? A YouTube if you swear? I don't know. I, they can't, cause you know what. All the stuff that's on it, seriously. The thing I'm worried about is I'm going to have people singing and they had com copyright infringement all over the place. Yeah. How the hell am I going to escape that? I can just sit here and say we don't own can the you, rights. Is, there's no problem with that on Facebook? Uh, or you got to say you don't own the rights or something? I'm going to say I don't own the rights to the music ahead of time and hopefully that gets me Better through. get some more sponsors <laughs> so when your ass goes to uh, I got court. eight, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> When you go to court for this. I'll be in freaking yeah. prison with Todd Christmas. No, nah, you won't go to prison. You just pay a big fine. <laughs> no, I don't want to pay a big fine. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's, um, but I'd, yeah, I'd like to go see him. And uh, Isaac was just there at the Motif. I like the Motif. It's a nice place. It's nice cool. Nice little cozy place. It's cool. Yeah. Um, I don't, as far as the gig and all that, I think that's that's out of control because. I've been that, there once and I didn't. Well, it's 10 bucks to get in there and I got to tell you, it's. Everybody You're in there like plays. this. It's like, well, that's cool. I like the environment <laughs> of it, but I just think it's every band that plays there. You look on their schedule. The next week they're free. Yeah. Someplace, you yeah. know, whether it's Sharkies or depend on what band you're going to see. Yeah. And the drinks. It's it's stupid. The one time Jenna went with us, I think we went to see Under the Page, and 15 minutes. 60 bucks gone wow. just because getting the three of us in and then buying three drinks yeah. i'm like how is this fun yeah so it's like i you know you go to sharkies or or frogs to see these bands and it's free and the drinks are are good and they're reasonably priced i mean yeah it's just that's yep. why i don't like that whole the gig i thing. had to go say see ryan quinn do his last show with showtime not that I'll never see Ryan Quinn again. <laughs> yeah, he'll be, I'm sure he'll be back a couple of times. The way I was talking to Justin, he might jump up on stage. Because yep. we just saw, we saw Justin the past two Thursdays over at uh, Villa. Yep. And, uh, I saw him at Papa Top two weeks in a row. You were there for one of them. Yep. 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 He's... You met he's my buddy, a, Mil, Bill Mosher. Yeah, I was actually just talking to Bill yesterday. Yep. And, uh, Me too. He's got mm -hmm. a couple shows going on that I'm going to try and make it out to. Yep. Um, and... He's a good guy. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see them because I saw some video of them. And yeah. His band is uh, Horn Dogs, right? Horn Dogs. Yep. Eleven yeah. piece uh, horn instrument. <laughs> yeah, horn section. Horn, horn, section. horn band. A horn band. <laughs> so, they're, I'm a, a little rusty. Uh, the horny people. The horny so, people. That's, I call them the dogs. A, the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> a cool name. The horny people. The yeah. horny people. Why not? I mean, exactly. You know, take it the way you will. Yeah, you could be their mascot. That's Len. He's horny. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyways. Yes. Anyways. Um. But yeah, Justin, we saw him two weeks in a row because they they had him booked twice at Bella last Thursday and the Thursday before. Yeah. And uh, Jennifer and I were. We had calling hours to go to last week, and we're like, Justin's playing over at Villa again. And I'm like, let's let's go there, because Jennifer's like, I don't want to go eat a quarter of sex. And so I'm like, all right, let's go over. So we hung out with Justin, and it was pretty fun. He, yeah. uh, last, last week, he had us, we were laughing so hard, because he was doing stuff like South Park, and Cartman singing Come Sail Away. He was doing stuff off the <laughs> South Park album. He did three, you know, just 
little bits and pieces enough to have us in st- cracking up. Yep. But, uh, I can't describe how much talent Justin has. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah, there's there's so much talent in so many people in this area that I don't know how some of these guys aren't on the radar. And yeah. uh, you know, there's there's Justin, yep. Tim, Max. Yeah. I I think I've I've seen I saw Max one time up at the hill. And then Isaac, there's just, there's, and that's just in this area. I mean, I don't know any of the people out in Syracuse. So Bill, Daryl, I mean, um, just so much talent and it's crazy. And you know, then I look at even the like broken roll. I sit there and to, well, we're doing that uh, festival in July that turned into free because my buddy had passed away. The guy July that, 1st, correct? Yep. Yeah, um, the bands that we're playing with are, are amazing. They've got um, Matt Chases there, yep. uh, Grit and Grace, and we just saw Grit and Grace again over at Nothing Fancy, and we're just like, they're so, they're such a fun band. Um, Bob gets out there and does that ACDC. It shook me all night long, and we were cracking up. Kevin and I went up there, and we were just like standing there, busting his chop, you know, trying to get us, you know, throw his, throw him off. It didn't work, but, uh, then they ended up having him do like three more ACDC songs, and he's like, "That's it." And you, yeah. that poor man, but he was belting it out. Yeah. Um, Brothers Grimm's gonna be there, and I know Michael's gonna be on here. Yep. And then uh, before August, and I can't think of the last. But there's a band that uh, Broken Roll. That's it. <laughs> so, but when we get playing with some of those guys, like Bro, I mean, it, the talent that's there, you put all those people together. Um, and Jackie from, you know, Grit and Grace, she's just, she's got a wicked voice on her. It's yeah. just, but there's a lot of, a lot of amazing talent in this area. There is. A lot it's, of them are going to be on this show. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yep. Very good. Very you good. You guys are going to see some great episodes this season. It's going to be a long season. In four months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next week I'm going to be out here Sunday through Friday. I have six in a row. Whoops. <laughs> Holy cow, Sunday too? Yep. That's Bill Ali. He wanted to come way before August 7th when okay. he was originally scheduled. He goes, oh, I well. want to come before I get tremendously busy. Yep. So. Yep. Well, some of these guys, yeah, it's their schedule. Like I sit there and I look at Justin's schedule, Isaac's, I'll Max's. With and it, Well, with them doing it as a regular job, yep. you know. They don't have a nine to five. Well, that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's their job. You know, and it's not just a, a three-hour, it's not just a three-hour set. I mean, a lot of these bars and such that try and get bands in there, they don't realize it's not, you know, you come and watch a band for three hours. There's a lot of people will show up, like I show up almost two hours before, set up the lights, start setting up the system. We do our sound check. We play for the three, three and a half hours, yep. um, sometimes four, and you get through, and then you've got a tear down, yeah. which takes a couple of, you know, yeah. what, the tear down isn't as bad because everybody just wants to get home at that point, point. Yeah. and then people want to come up and talk to you, so it's like, but it, yeah, there's a lot to, for a band to go Justin out there and play. Justin Spitzen set it perfectly. You get paid to set up and tear down, the middle part's easy. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah, that makes he sense. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about you back in the heyday. Back when you were like a roadie for Costin and uh, all that kind of fun stuff. I want to go back memory lane with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were blonde, right? Yeah, and I had long hair. Yeah. yeah. I can't um, imagine that. Yeah, there was... God, I went. I remember they had done. I saw I one picture of you when you were young. I said, I don't know if I get along with that guy. No, I was, <laughs> I'm like I was not. I was just cool as you know, like I am now. Cool as <laughs> shit. I mean, that's... I'm leaving my own. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the uh, yeah, God, what do we do? We went to. I remember going to some of the shows. We I remember. Well, I say I remember, but I don't really remember because. I think there was a lot of alcohol involved as far as <laughs> when we go out. To, but I remember we went out, I helped them at Penny Arcade, which was a place out in Rochester that they played. I don't know if we went out there once or twice, 
with them. And, uh, you know, it, it, I remember the shows. It's just I don't remember the shows just because we, I, I partied um, with Lee. Yep. And uh, it, Roy's brother. Yep. Um, the going in the studio with them was fun. Just watching them put the bits and pieces together. And I remember they were doing, uh, I think it was DC Strut, which was the other form of Arden. Yep. And uh, they had a song, um, We Rock and Roll to Kill, I think the song was. And we were sitting there and I'm like, oh, you gotta say we want Roy Costin killed. Oh. And, so, <laughs> and they were like, oh my God. So yeah, that was that was something, but yeah. <laughs> then we, uh, I remember a show over at the Cala and John Lewin was there and a flash pot that they had was messing up and Joe Boyle went over to look at it and it went off in his face. Oh, ouch. And uh, yeah, that was that was different, but uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun hanging out with those guys <laughs> and doing that. And uh, they were always good people. Um, and Kevin, who's passed, um, the drummer, yep. he, was, he was such a great, great guy. And he was married to Mary. And uh, yeah, that was there was a lot of good times. Kevin Meacham, correct? Yep, Kevin yep. Meacham. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. I had to remember for a second. Yep, and then uh, yeah, Roy's Roy out of all that and the stuff that he's been doing, except for other than Mary. I mean, last man, last man Roy's standing. Roy, phenomenal talent, uh, Oneida legend. I'm yep. not gonna take yep. that away from him. Yep, <laughs> yep. he is. He yep. is, and that's all I got to say about him. <laughs> he's phenomenal. I'm a legend too, oh. in my own mind. I really am. <laughs> You're a cool guy, mm. You really are. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you put up with my shit, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't swear. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was it. Was a lot of fun when I used to do that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Back in the heyday, man. What yeah. year was that? Early '80s, wasn't it? God, yeah. Had to be. 81, 82. I was five. <laughs> 81 or 82. And it, yeah, that would. Remember getting home at 3.30 in the morning. Some days are long gone. in the gone. morning. Yeah. What time do you go to bed nowadays? Saturday night, we went until 2.30. Wow. A bunch Woo. of my friends came over. And Jennifer and I, they had a, so let's have a fire. So we had a fire and uh, Two of my friends are like, dude, we gotta go. It's two thirty. Actually, they said it's two, and I'm like, come on, just one more, just one more. <laughs> I came back outside. I had to go get another drink. And they're like, all right, we'll stay. I'm like, yeah. So yeah, two thirty. We were trying to get Kevin over, Kevin and Chrissy over. Um, I don't know if they went out and or what, but yeah, they didn't come over. Yeah. Gotta, it's <laughs> remember the party I had out here last yeah, September. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah. Hell yeah. You're doing that this year over there, right? At the Legion. At the Legion. Yep. Yeah. That'll be a blast. Elliot yeah. was talking to me about it. Yeah. I like to get all you guys together because you don't always see each other. No. no. I want to be responsible for at least one to get together yeah. a yeah. year. Yeah. And I think it's a cool thing to do. I mean, yeah. everybody gets to see everybody. You were all begging for it last year when yeah. we were wrapping it up. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it again every year, every year. And I wasn't going <laughs> to. I just showed. But I got to, you know, please the people. I just showed <laughs> Elliot. I sent Elliot the picture because Elliot was using the bathroom over here. <laughs> I <know. laughs> So I got like four or five pictures of Elliot standing there going like this. You got to send that to me. Uh, I, I got to ask Elliot if I can. Elliot, I that's going to be my cover photo for Joe. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can send it to, to him, but tell don't me about it. Don't send it to me. I don't want to see uh, it. No, it's, it doesn't. It's just, it's. It's funny, but yeah, yeah, that was. I told somebody to oh, get a picture of that. Get a picture of that, and yeah, apparently I, you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back view, not the front side or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was looking at pictures the other day. I was watching the video that D Dub took over that, and I was like, wow. And yeah. everybody was right there. Yeah, squeezed right yep. in between. Yep. Yeah, right in between the two trees here. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool because I got to meet Daryl. Yep. And uh, I love him like a brother. Yeah, I, I love you like a brother too, Lynn. Yeah. I mean, you're a sponsor. You're a friend of mine. We yeah. talk to each other, you know, on a frequent basis. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you let me know when I'm right from wrong. <laughs> more, more lately, wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm chilling. Pull I had a talk with, uh, I talked to Jim last night, Jim Roberts. 
He's like, remember, just look straight ahead. Don't even veer your head to the right or left. Just straight ahead, do chilling, focus on that. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to have any conflict with anything. <laughs> I'm doing yeah, it's my too, show. Yeah, it's too, <laughs> life's too short to worry about stupid stuff. Yep. So I'm not worried about it. Yeah. I'm working forward. Yeah. I hear you. Yep. So we've got cat stock. Cat stock. Point I got to the talk sign. about cat stock. Point to the sign. <laughs> right there. I wanted Logan to show up. Yeah. And I was like, dude, he's got so much going on. Yeah. I'm not going to go through his father, John. And yeah. it's John and Logan yep. that are really pushing this thing. Yes. I've got paper here that's got all sorts of info. Um, I just want to say a couple of things. Please I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Some of they're doing, so the whole cat stock is to try and it's, uh, all proceeds go to Operation Wildcats Limited, Oneida Committee, and Cat Committee. And I, I don't know if it's Oneida Committee for cats. <clears throat> um, first of all, there's six bands. All yes. the bands that are there are donating their time. I got not robots here tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Well, D-Dub yep. is there. Yep. Shane Archer Reed yep. is on there. Yours truly before August. Yep. Not robots. One man in the band in one sixty nine rhythm section. That's a perfect lineup. All of us are donating our time. Yep. Um, I think the first we we dub Shane and not robots. I think we're doing fifty minute sets, and then one man is going longer. Yep. And then. 169 closes this show out because we're using Steve's equipment, Steve's equipment right. and everything. Yep. Um, and entertainment services is providing the stage, the lights, the whole, because I was talking to John and they wanted to do it bigger. Yeah. And we think this year is going to be bigger because some of the stuff that, I mean, he's got six local food vendors. Bella Vita is going to be there. Uh, the Blend. D Ray's Pizzeria. I uh, had yeah, D Ray's yesterday. I'm there frequently. <laughs> I love that place. Coneheads is going to be there. Rossi Catering and Tube Steaks Food Truck is going to be there. Tons of there's tons of basket raffles yeah. that are already there. Over 50. Um, there's going to be jumpy houses inside, which I'm like, that's kind of cool. You know, I guess on break, that's where I'll be going. Um, Can we jump house together, Lynn? No. I'll give you a no, rock bottom. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're. Uh, They've got, you know, like Thompson's Appliances. Yes. They they donated a six hundred dollar home air purifier. That's going to be raffled. I mean, some of the some of the prizes that they've got a wooden bench, uh, chainsaw, uh, still uh, still string trimmer. Um, there's family memberships. There's uh, passes to uh, uh, SU uh, Crunch Games. Uh, Parking and food passes, four tickets, food voucher for Syracuse Mets game, lots of $50 gift cards. I mean, there's just hotels. They outdid themselves. Four man. different hotels have given all, like one night stays and uh, breakfast with breakfast vouchers. So there's like tons of different things. Yeah. I can't go through the whole list. The best thing to do is just get over there. It's free. Saturday, May 20th. Yep, Saturday, May 20th. It, it's I plan on spending the day there. Free. But if you can take and you can bring something to donate, like, like you know, if you can cat food or litter or a big bag of food or a couple bucks, it's not required. It's free. But the thing is, is that it's, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. Um, I just found our newest kitten right here in this uh, tree. The yeah. mom put it up there and just left the cat. You guys are going to be the cat people. You're worse than us. My daughter keeps suckering three us. Three's the limit. Cats. We're yeah. good. That's what we have now is three. And it's, it's, we've got, our middle one has got a, something going on with her hip right now. Oh, that's not good. And uh, we don't know if it's a slip disc. We took her to have x-rays and uh, they said, yeah, something's wrong with her back. It's fine. It's going to heal up in a couple of weeks. And she's going on two weeks and we called up and they gave her some medicine. And it's like, yeah. yeah. So it's hopefully she gets better. And I we notice it because she walk she's walking like a slinky. Yeah. It's like oh. So but they fell down the stairs. A kitten and her were playing, and they fell down the stairs. Oh. I guess. So I don't know if it was from that. But I get that all the time. Falling down the stairs. Mochi and the kitten. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> I falling don't fall down, down the stairs. stairs. All right. I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> 
Yeah. So, anyways, about cat stock, yeah, yes. that's Go back to that cat starts stock. at twelve. Yes. Um, that's gonna be it'll be a good time. Um, I we're told hoping Logan the how good proud and, I am of yeah. him and what he's doing for that. Logan, that one man, the band, Logan's band is is like yeah. just it's there's they're getting so great. Um, I know I can't say the day. All I do is I know that they're working on something where they've got maybe Sunday coming and doing something with them. I'm not sure where it is. Um, I'm sure one man in the band will have it on their Facebook page. But uh, I was talking to Grogan today, and they're actually maybe Sunday's going back in the studio. I think in the fall. Awesome. Um, Bruce is on his way to recovery. Um, I was able to run into Bruce at Seven Hamlets. We went out to see Isaac, and Bruce was there, and I haven't seen Bruce since everything happened and he's uh he's he's on the road Good. to recovery bruce congrats man hopefully you get better yeah Full recovery grogan what's up i know you're responsible for dressing this guy uh, yeah there you go <laughs> uh, he's the guy that gets me dressed he's like you can't keep wearing t-shirts you got to start making yourself look <laughs> yeah i wear polos about every episode uh, but you know mm. i need this it's comfortable um Maybe yeah, the t-shirts, you know, I, I got to keep up with Moyer because I see the way he does it. I just don't change you in the middle of the your, show. You better I don't get change your, uh, in the middle. Going. I wear the same boots. <laughs> I don't change in the middle of the show and everything. I know he's got a style to, yep. to, to maintain. Mainly and, black. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a dark soul. Yes. He's yeah. one of my best friends. He's a dark soul. Though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so. Grogan dresses me. Matter of fact, I told him. Uh, I dig that shirt, man. He's got to. He's got to start forking over some money. I said because this is getting expensive. Because yeah. I you know, went to Rhode Island and all of a sudden I came home with like four different shirts. I'm like, this is an Under Armour like, polo. I got it for twenty five bucks. There you go. Hell yeah, they're there normally. Go. I usually wear sixty dollars shirts on the show. Tell yeah. me about expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to get Grogan. I'm like, Grogan, dude, you got to pay for some of this stuff. Yeah. And he's, he's like, why, money. making you look good? And I'm like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. He's your Which, stylist. <laughs> <laughs> but he does the same thing. And yeah, you see him come out now and he's getting behind the drum. And that poor boy has got to be sweat because he'll wear a long sleeve shirt. And Jim's no light. He's not light on the drums. I mean, he's beating the shit out of those things and just. Don't swear. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I said shit. You let me know. No, no. <laughs> shit is not. Shit is allowed on TV. It shit is, is it not is. a swear word. So it is. I was watching South Park today in the store, and they were saying shit left and right. So it's not a swear word. It's true. Comedy Central can say it. It it's comes okay. out of your body. It does. Not <laughs> Where that came from, I don't know. Uh, but. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where does shit come from. Yeah, you see, you ought to have those lilac trees. You ought to plant some here so it always smells like lilacs. Well, that's you know? actually in the game plan right now. There you go. We're buying some. There you this go. whole backyard's about to get a rejuvenization. There you go. <laughs> I need a guy who knows how to do waterfalls. You know how to do waterfalls, Lynn? Yeah, I know how to do waterfalls. All right. Yeah. Well, you can come over here and donate your time. <laughs> I'll donate the time. You buy the equipment. I'll help you. I'll help you set it up. What is a good waterfall worth? About five grand? Oh God, no. 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 How much is a good waterfall? It depends. You got to have. You just build it, and then you got to have the pump for it. I mean, like everything that all I've got on mine are pumps, yeah. in, with hoses, and that's it. Sucks. I got to go back into mine. I got to take mine all apart. Um, and re rebuild it. I was talking to Tim and I said, do you want any of those fish? I saw him over at Bell and he's like, I can't, He his setup isn't, he doesn't have a setup where he can take fish. So I'm going to take the fish up to either Mike Puya, it's going to take some more, or there's a couple of places that I know some have, have some pond because I got, I have to get rid of some of the fish. Yeah. And I have to, yeah, but it's not that, it's not that hard. Right. It's not that bad. I'm willing to rip up the yard for a good waterfall. You use part of the fence, it'll be cool. We put it next to a window where you can hear it inside yeah. and everything. It make me have to pee all the time. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. But that's a nice thing. You know, we've got a camper. My brother gave me a pop-up camper last year. Yeah. And we didn't use it at all. And it's like we're camping in our backyard because we've got the huge fire pad. I mean, the pit's big enough where you can throw a full When do I get an in invite to your yard? Everybody says, hey, you know what? And then I actually invite people, oh, yeah, we're sorry. So I'm like, yeah, screw them. We'll just. <laughs> I want to see your yard. But you won't like it because we all sit there and drink, dude. And when we. I'm not fun, fun to be around on water. <laughs> yeah, but you, you know, listen, I know your schedule. And if it's past 8 o'clock, yeah. 
your I'm home by for a yeah yeah <laughs> we got a ration of sh poo from some of our friends because we had the fire so late this weekend and I think it started at like nine o'clock two thirty in the morning's like freaking ten o'clock in the morning to me I'd be I out there Jennifer, all night I'm going to I'll be up, I'll be upstairs in a few minutes I have to get something to eat yeah I woke up at like five thirty or something. And I was like, the sun's coming up. What the? So, yeah, yeah. that was. But I do want to see your yard, but you have it on weekends. I work on weekends. Yeah. From 6.30 to 9.30, my ass is napping. Yeah, <laughs> I get a lot of people that harass me. You, thanks for the invite. like, you know, it's it's open. If you see a picture of a fire on Facebook, I'm Come on having up. a, yeah, it's. Come on up. You know, if you don't see a picture of us in the bar room, you just text me your door's address. closed. <laughs> <laughs> bars off <laughs> Stay away. throw me a bottle of water Lynn. it's all i need so listen so the the festival at browns Talk you, should, you should come out there okay. because that's you figure everybody that's going to be there it's it's easier for you to go over to the cala for cat stock yeah um browns it's a blast um what time did the band start at cat stock Cat stock, uh, I believe 12. Okay. I'm not sure that. Are you having Logan on before the 20th? I'm not. All right. I will I was thinking about messaging him to see if he'll come here and do just a cat stock thing. Maybe right. me and him. Right. Just talk all about it. Right. I don't know if he can or not. Um, I know he's busy trying to get things ready for yeah. it because that's why I was like, come on, dude, you ought to crash the thing. I was even trying to talk John into it, and they, yeah. they've, they're trying to get things going. Yeah. Um, I know the doors open up at 12. Okay. Um. I don't know if they start at 12.30 or if they start at 12. All right. Um, I'm not going to say the listing of the band just because. Eh. I'll message Logan later, see if I can get him here. Right, right. Um, if not, I'm sure as it gets closer, we're going to, he's going to button it, you know, it, that's all of them doing it. Yep. And so I, I just, I have the list of stuff, but there's no. That was very informative. Time. Um, but like I said, the list is. But I'm like, I'm not going to sit there and do that whole thing. John's like, you say what you want. And there's stuff that is going on that's not on the list. Yep. That He's like, there's surprise things that are going on. Yeah. Um, I think one of them is Axl Rose's action. No, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Hey, he's calmed down in his old age. Yeah, he's still an asshole. <laughs> um, the, uh, but with Party on the Pond, that's turned into a celebration. It was... Uh, he passed in his, he, he, that wasn't a concern. Um, but he was he was a good friend of mine. Um, his brother is best friends with us. And uh, when we had heard, I, I had talked to Mike, his, Russ's brother, and I'm like, so what's going on? He's like, this is, the, the party's still going on. I'm like, no, I'm not talking about that. I, I don't, you know, nobody had any concern at that point, what we were doing. And uh, Mike had said, Sue had said, which was Russ's wife, um, party's going on because if we cancel it, Russ is going to be very disappointed. So what they're going to do is we did, we we're doing a pre-sale ticket and anybody that bought pre-sales, when they show up at the gate, you get the ticket, yeah. you get your money back. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. Um, and it's, it's such a great time. They have, uh, Food there, yep. for sale, obviously. Yeah. Um, oh my God, is it Brown's Barbecue? I think it's Brown's Barbecue that does the uh, the food, and uh, it, it, his barbecue is. He's been over to Coneheads a couple of times. Yeah. Um, they they do great barbecue stuff, smoked turkey, pulled pork, all sorts of different stuff. Um, but Kevin does all the setting up as far as all the bands yep. go but it's just it's a cool event but you know this year it's a little we want everybody to come there that knew russ and i mean russ russ knew a lot of people and uh we just want to take it and make it where you know come there and talk about russ and you know he was he was a great guy way too soon way too soon 56 years old wow. and uh um we're still, you know, we're still kind of in disbelief that he actually had, you know, yeah. passed. Um, but you know, we said let's get through this year and see, see if we do something different. We don't know. 
think but, you have a great turnout. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I know a couple of us are talking about camping. Some of the bands are talking about camping there and some of our friends. So, you know, I we got to find out how they're going to run the camping. I mean, maybe at that point, if you're going to bring a camper, because he's got, they've got where this, they do weddings and receptions there. Um, there's huge camping area. And so it's like some of us are going to bring pop-ups and trailers and tents. Yeah. And uh, stay in the night. Stay in the night. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's that if you've never been out there, it's 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 a cool place. Yeah. It's out in the woods. I think it's about a quarter of a mile into the woods. And uh, there's video that. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's a cool it's place. Cool. It's <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm looking at the sign right here before August on Facebook. Yeah. Go check out before August on Facebook. Yeah, we, this isn't done. No, we're not done. Oh I'm my just God, we're only you. a half hour into this. I'm just we promoting got, you. I know. Have to be I know. Done. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm like Jesus. You are not making this a half an hour. <laughs> no. Um, Two and a half. We got a long way to go. So I'll talk about shows. We've got shows coming up. We're playing Sunset Grill this year. Couple shows, sunset. Taking my job away from me, Lynn. I was coming. Oh, all right, all right. Well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, you. What are your some of your upcoming gigs, Lynn? No, I don't want to talk about those. The uh, we uh, doing I understand a couple it's shows. been seven months. I'm a little rusty. We're doing a couple shows at sunset this year. Um, Two thirty three. We got another show. We got seven Hamlets in August, um, which was great because we had such a blast at seven Hamlets. Um, we come back, uh, May 20th is the the cat stock, which we're only doing like a 50 minute set, but we're coming back into full swing at, we played last year, and it's, it's there's certain places that you play where it's just, it's a great, great time, and we're looking forward at June 9th, we're at Papa Top. Okay. And, uh. I'll be front row. Yeah, Mike, yeah, that's, Papa Top's a good time. I was there yesterday. Um, who, who was there yesterday? Carson Murphy. I felt so bad for the guy. Why? He was out there by himself. I mean, there were seven of us in the bar, and they turned up the bar music, and this poor guy's out there just strumming. So I went out there and hung out with the guy, and it's like, it just, it's a Sunday, it's nice weather, people got stuff to do. Yep. And, you know, I mean, and that's one of the... Either you're going to get a crowd or you're not. Well, it's you know what? Miss. And it, it's one of those things where you got to suck it up. And, yep. And... Keep playing. All the bands have have gone through this, yep. and you know we've we've played one time. There were eight people there, and I'm like, dude, this sucks. Yeah. My bass player's like, it's a practice. Just Joe made a post about this. I'm gonna reference the post. He did a gig last week. It was shitty out. It was raining. Like five people showed up to his show, and it bugged him. Like it would bug the, any normal right. person. He goes, I got out of my head and I just zoned out and played like I was playing for 10,000 people, which he's done. Yeah. He goes, you just got to block that out and just yeah. play. Think play of it for as a yourself practice. with That's anything. What you got you, you to think of it as a practice, a paid practice. You're, yeah. You're getting pay, paid to play. It doesn't matter. And, and it's great because some of the places that we played, great crowds, tons yeah. of people were like, and you ask any of the bands that come here, the more people that are there, yep. the better the show is because yep. you feed. Get that energy. You feed man. off of the people that yep. are there. And it's like, it's just, you know, one person, you're like, hey, thanks yeah. for coming. <laughs> 150, 200 people, like, yeah, yes. yeah. You're like, woohoo. <laughs> hey, how are y'all? Um, I can't say what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, so, yeah. we, you know, we got Seven Hamlets, which is great. Papa Top is, we're coming, and actually we're doing Papa Top on the, the 9th, and then June 10th, the day after, we're doing Sunset Grill. Two in a row, huh? Two in a row. Get her done, man. Yeah, both outside, so it better be a nice weekend. Yeah. Then there's a weekend off, and then we do 2.33. Um, we got Frogs. We've got one show in Frogs. Uh, that's all she could give us, and that's not until September. Maybe she'll get us more. I know for a fact she's booked on November. She showed me her book. Hopefully, you know things will work out. Yeah. And we don't we don't really care. Like two thirty three, we found out we could play inside. Yep. Um, some bands 
and sometimes you know we're we're not as bad now um it's just when you play inside now some bands are just too loud to be inside um like they had asked us at seven hamlets and we're like we we don't want to play in, i don't want to play inside because when you're outside it's just it, it, seven hamlets got the outdoor stage you can crank the hell out of everything yeah. just going and everybody's sitting far enough away um American Legion, Cheryl American Legion. We just had our show. Our first show back this year was at the Legion. Great time there. Um, Aren't you doing something at the Oneida Legion too, a show? Yeah, July 8th, okay. we're outside there. Yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll ask maybe Sunday if they want to come over and join us on that. Um, because they, they want to get out there and, and get, you know, they've got a couple shows where it's just going to be, you know, the four of them. And while Bruce is doing it, um, Brian can do a pretty good job on covering it. And then, uh, you know, if we, I'll, I'll have to talk to them, see okay. if they want to do that maybe on July 8th with us. Um, then, what other one? The VFW, Verona VFW. September, right? I think August. It is. August. August. August is our uh, give back show. Okay. We play for free. I'm going to go to that. And what happens is, buy a soda because or water because you know they're the money that they would pay us they keep it and it goes towards vats that's all awesome. to help them out um i think bands should try and do that but you know it's hard for bands because we get all of us get every band that's out there we get asked to play so many shows yeah. and like us i told the boys we were going to do at least three or four yep where we donate our time i mean yeah. It's not that hard to do, no. um, but the VFW, we, the Verona VFW has been great to us. Mm. Um, so anything that they ever want us to do, and they don't ask us to do a free show, it's, it's us offering it to them. Yeah. Um, and the reason that happened is the year Jenna graduated, we had a bunch of family coming in and friends and some of them had never seen us play. Yeah. We asked one place, I'm not gonna say the name, but we asked one place if we could play there on a Friday night. I got some slack, or some flack from, no, you know, we really, some hemming and hawing, I'm like, we're offering you a free show. The bar can make money off of beer sales, and if the kitchen's open, off of food sales. I said, don't worry about it. I asked the VFW. They jumped all over it. Yep. And Diana, the girl that was in charge at the time, she asked if she could pass because she's like, this is crazy. Yeah. The amount of people that were there because it was friends, family, and it's our hometown. Yeah. So um, it, they, they made good money. And so now we just give it to the Verona VFW. Because yep. we were like, you know, we offered a free show. You didn't want it. Verona VFW, it's yours every time now. There so we do it every year. Yep. And just you know, give it back to the vats. Yeah. And so, but it, it's a good time there. Yeah. It's small, but it's. I've yeah. never been, but I'm going. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful in there. Okay. It's really nice. I guarantee you, I'm coming. I promised you, and I will. Suppose that. <laughs> I have to tell you, I was going to bring my jacket. <laughs> because I was, I'm freezing my ass off. It's a little nippy. Yeah. Grow a sat, Lynn. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, oh, oh. should have been in that sun right there. Remember when I was should've talking been. to you should've about been. the sun? Should have been. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. Ask me some questions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Put me on the spot. That's Not right. on my own show. Ask me. Ask me now. What made you get... The band back together i know we talked about this before but you've never been on chilling with rick you have a whole new audience how did you get it back together ricky the guitar player um learned from roy how to play guitar yeah which i had no clue at the time that he was learning from roy and i didn't you know, didn't really think about it and uh i went over to john's the drummers his father and John had pulled me into the basement. He said, look, check this out. And he had a karaoke machine and him and, him and Ricky started doing Crazy Train. So I started singing. 
I'm like, we're going to put the band back together. <laughs> because John... Now, how long had it been before, you know, since the last band was there? How long had it been since you played before the band did get back together? God. Almost, You're like 82 right now, right? Almost. Almost 30 years. Almost 30 more, years. More than 30. No, almost 30. Jennifer and I have been married 33 years this year. Yeah. And I wasn't playing with, were we? Less than 30, less than 30 years, but it had been a long time. Yeah. And so we talked to Warren, John's brother, Ricky's uncle. And, you know, it was John's wife that said, you guys ought to do it, get the band back together. And I said, all right, let's do it. And yeah, yeah. so it, but it had been a long time. And uh, we used to always sit there, we get like 10 songs. It would be like, all right, we're done. Yeah. You never, we never had the chance. You know, we never pushed the fact to try and play in some places. Yeah. And so we, uh, we got enough material. Yep. And Roy had said, hey, you can. We opened up for him. Actually, I think it was uh, his guitar thing. What is that? Guitar days. Guitar days. Yeah. And uh, you no, know, he's like, do you want to be the the band to play the music so we're like yeah we could do that so it was kind of cool because a lot of his students would meet us over at the practice band, the practice room yeah and we'd go over their songs and then we learned free bird <laughs> free bird <God. laughs> i gotta you tell know. you a story the first time i ever watched you play was the legion we were pretty good friends and this is you. You're on your mic stand, and you're leaning on that son of a bitch, and you're dying swine. I think it was summertime, like the dead of summer. And I, I turned to Roy. I said, he's going to die. <laughs> it just looked like that. I said, could you got a chair for him? Maybe you could sit and sing. I don't know. I can't tell you how many microphones, <laughs> microphone stands. You were using it like a freaking walker. <laughs> no, no, it's not a walker. It's, it's the way... I, I, You're Steven I, Tyler a little bit. No, I mean, Jesus, no. Um, he, he leans on his, too. It's, yeah, it's, for some reason, I mean, I I, I put my weight yeah, on it. And yeah. I've, I've taken, and I've broken I had, for a bit, I had a red and white mic stand. Yeah. Red one and a white one. I got the red one because I've always looked for a red one. There's certain mic stands that I look for, and there's, I used to have one a long time ago. That you just take and you, you know, you press the center and it would expand and contract yeah. instead of turning it. And it was kind of cool. And that was a long time ago. And it was like a, you know, back in the 80s. And mic stands, they can't take a lot of abuse. And I beat the shit out of them <laughs> because I lean on them. And, but I like my red one. And so the red one, I'd be up there playing around and there's a click in it. Like it. <laughs> It makes a noise, and I'll be out there, and I'll be like trying to twist it, and I'll move it like this, and I'll hear click. Uh -oh. We got all the, and I can feel it. So I'll like take it, and I'll grab my white one. And people are like, oh, you're diva, you gotta have two mic stands. It's like, no, listen, you don't understand. So we ended up retiring it to Ricky. So Ricky's got the red okay. mic stand because it, it makes, an irritating and a clicking noise. <laughs> well, this white one. Well, maybe if you didn't break it by leaning on it. <laughs> make a mic stand that can have. I mean, I sit there and I look at some of these like Matt from Broken Rules got a shotgun. Yeah. It was a custom made. Cool. Yeah. I could never use that because I picked that up. My skinny ass can't pick that thing up. Um, Matt, it, but Matt doesn't pick up the mic stand. Matt picks up the microphone, takes his microphone out. I like to walk around with my mic stand. It's just a, a comfort thing. I'm waiting for you to hit somebody. It's no. inevitable. <laughs> no, I'm not like Elliot swinging a bass around. <laughs> he um, almost got me the last time I saw him. Yeah, he's he's out of control with that thing, yeah. and I die laughing. I was like this, like, Jesus, man. But I, I do sometimes watch where I am, but like if we're playing some, some of the places, there's just not enough room. Um, I get up on the stage over here at freaking the Legion. Yeah. They got plenty of room, oh, so yeah, I can you, sit there and good. throw it up, spin it around, do whatever I need to do. But I just need to find a good mic stand because yeah. the white one is now flat. The legs, because they all, you know, the tripod is supposed to be up like this, but now they're like this because 
I'm leaning. Need a mic stand can hold what? 160? 150? Yeah, 161. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good guy. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and it's not. I tell you what, I'm not exhausted when I'm up there. It's just. It looked like to me because oh, it was yeah, the first yeah. time I've ever seen you play. I was and like, actually, <laughs> I, when I start sweating, yeah. I feel good yeah. because okay. now I can sit there and say, I'm working for it. You know, I've seen you drink shots, beer, and like water, all in like a half hour. Yeah, <laughs> you're drinking you all kinds it, of gotta shit. Gotta keep it. And, you know, there's, the, and, you know, Matt right now has got something going on with his voice, and he's Max has helped him. He's given him some, you know, th some uh, exercises, Vocal exercises to do. Yep. yep. And um, Quinn does them a lot. I, I was talking to Justin the other day. And, I'm, and I actually talked to, I called up Isaac, and I'm like, dude, am I doing this wrong? Because I'm not doing these vocal exercises. And I'm like, and I know Tim, Tim does steam, and he does exercises. And I'm like, I don't want to have that problem. Yeah. And when I first started doing this, there were a couple times where my voice would go, and I knew that I was doing it wrong. Yeah. So now, you know, it, it doesn't break out. It doesn't, I can carry yeah. and do you put it. You're on a good show, man. There, really there's good. times that, like I said, I'll be like, oh my God, we're like two hours into the show. I got another hour to do. Yeah. And that's where it's great because Ricky and Warren yep. both sing too. Yeah. So I'll do something like Metal Health near the end. And I'm like, all right, somebody else sing yeah. because... I need to take a You're break. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I still, when we do, there's like, uh, when we do the Maiden song, Run to the Hells, or Metal Health, I always turn around and I look at my drummer because he's always smirking when I do the screams. And it's just. I like when you do Crazy Train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff that we're, we're starting to figure out. Um, I want to throw another Johnny Cash in there. Yeah. Um, we do Folsom Prison Blues, and I want to, you know, something like Cocaine Blues yeah. by Johnny Cash. Yep. Um, we're trying to trying to get into a couple different places, and we've actually got Kevin kind of saying, "Listen, we can probably do something here, but there's certain things that we have to do. Yeah. Like we've we we've, we've got to put more." Um, more dance stuff there. Um, People want to shake their group there. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to dance to Iron Maiden. They don't want to dance to, you know, actually, it's kind of funny because if we do Enter Sandman, people dance. Yeah. Um, quite right. Depends. And we, we can play to the crowd. I mean, we can sit there and we can do a set list. And we'll say, okay, Sunset Grill. Yeah. This is what we play near the end of the night. We can go into some of the heavier stuff. Sometimes we can go into the heavier stuff earlier in the show. Yep. Because we played there one time. I think we get done at 11 o'clock outside. And we had some guy come up to him because, dude, we came from Watertown. Not Water. Is it Watertown? Watertown, yeah, that's Town, a, Waterville? No, it's Watertown. Okay. He's like, I brought seven guys. We saw you here before and you, you know, you played Iron Maiden and everything. I'm like, yeah, you know what? It's 11 o'clock. We're supposed to stop at 11. We can't really, yeah. can't really do it because of the code. They're like, come on, come on. I'm like, all right. If the state troopers or sheriff show up and shut us down, we stop. <laughs> or if Donnie pulls the plug. But we'll keep going. We ended up stopping, I think, at like quarter to 12. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. And I went back and I apologized to Don. He's like, people were buying drinks. They were having fun. You were good. Yeah. So. You know, we did the heavy stuff that the guy's like, where's the Metallica? Where's the Iron Maiden? So it's like, okay. And my drummer loves the heavy stuff, so he's like, yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do great at the heavy stuff. I, You know, I've been to a lot of your shows. And right. That's when you kick the most ass. I mean, you're great at it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I, I, do, I do like singing Iron Maiden. And... Uh, I never thought I would be able to, to sing Iron Maiden. Yeah. Um, and I know there's there's other bands that will throw it into the mix, but not an awful lot. Yeah. 
not an awful lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's, we've got a list of stuff that we want to do. And uh, Warren had just, we're thinking about doing a Rolling Stones song. Different things. That'd be cool to throw on. Yeah. And then we you got one in mind? Start me up. Start me up? Yeah. I want to do a honky tonk woman also, but Ricky, Ricky's like, ah, oh, it's kind of country ish. Yeah. Like, it is. <laughs> Dude, we do Folsom Prison Blues. Yeah, that's I want to do Cocaine Blues. I'm like, it's just the groove of that song. <clears throat> you like it, songs with the word blues in them, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I like so. Blue Moon, Harvest Moon, <laughs> uh, Bark at the Moon. I like the moon, apparently, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. We, uh, we tried doing, we tried, uh, if, if I looked at Ricky and I said, let's do Bark at the Moon, he'll jump all over it. Because yeah. we, we were doing it for the longest time. There's some songs that are just harder yeah. um, to figure out. And War Pigs by Black Sabbath. That's a song, and it kills me because... Broken Rule does this. They'll go into, they'll start doing war pigs. And I'll hear that and I'm like, oh my God. And then they go into a country song from after the first verse. I'm like, guys, just do it. <laughs> They're like, one of these days we'll pull it off and just do it. It's like, oh my God, when they do it, it's just, you know, you're there for a country show slash yep. Southern rock show. Yep. Because they're not all country. Everybody just thinks that they're country. They're also Southern rock. They do, you know, Skinner and stuff like that. And when they all of a sudden these throwing war pigs, yeah, it's like that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> hell yeah. But some of the songs you can't really do because I I don't feel comfortable doing war pigs at like an American Legion or VFW <laughs> because it's it doesn't kind of an anti-war song and it's yeah. just like when we do Creedence, Fortunate Son. Now there's a band. CCR. We do. We do. I think we got Bad Moon. Fortunate Son, um, Up Around the Bend, and Proud Mary. Yep. But Fortunate Son, that's a wicked protest song, anti-war song. Yeah. It works, but I mean, if somebody walked up and said, hey, yeah. don't play the song at the Legion or something, yeah. okay, I get it, but it's a good tune, yeah. you know? it's. But yeah, we do do four Creedence songs, not all the time. We'll, you know, I'll pull out and say, hey, we haven't done this one in a long time, so to practice. We'll go over it and brush up on it. And yeah. There's certain times you get up there and you're like, how does that song go? Because <laughs> you've done it so much, it's like... How often do you guys rehearse? Is it a lot or no? Once a month. Yeah. Um, we practiced twice this month we're going to go. There you go. Um, like, we'll go over the set list that we've got for there, but we've got to do, like, Friday we're practicing, and we're going to throw in... You know, I told him, I said, we didn't even go over Roadhouse Blues because we do Roadhouse Blues and we do Roadhouse Blues because my drummer loves the Doors, but we've never, never really tried. I think we tried a, a, a Doors song one time and it didn't work. And uh, one time at Papa Top, we were there and they asked me to come up and Jennifer and Jackie were talking to each other. And next thing you know, they're like, wow, this sounds really good. And Jennifer looked up and she goes, I didn't even know that was you singing yeah. because they were doing Roadhouse Blues. Yep. I'd never sang that song before, but it just it was like, holy cow, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. And so uh, from then I'm like, you know, John was there too. And I looked at John, I said, we, we really need to, to bring that song in because I mean, it's just, it's a cool tune and people will dance to it. And so, you know, there's a lot of cool music out there. It's just trying to get it. And it's hard. I know Steve had said he was mad because, you know, and not mad, but the way Steve had posted his thing about all the bands doing similar songs. All of us, local bands, it's hard to not pick to copy songs. A song or two. It, yeah. And it's like, I can sit there and probably half the songs that Steve's band does, we do. And then you know anybody else that's trying to do it um now like spare parts when they do it they do floyd and there's not a lot of bands around here that'll do floyd yeah. but actually i will tell you i saw please and iris and they pulled it out of their asses they said they did uh brick in the wall and i was like that's awesome 
I mean, they, they, they do they, Billy Jean because I'm an yeah. MJ fan at a fast. I'm temp- sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I'm a fan of Lynn White. <laughs> that's that's a Gavin right there. Um, make fun of me because I like Michael Jackson. No, they do. Beth can sing anything. Yeah, she can. Beth can sing anything. And yeah. we haven't had it happen in a long time, but we've had it where Jay will show up at a show. And he showed up one time at Sunset Grill. They had played out. Beth came for a little bit. And uh, we got through with our first set, and I walked over, talked to Jay, and he was saying that they were just playing, and I said, you got your stuff with you? He's like, yep. I said, bring it on up if you want to jam with us. And so he was going to do a couple songs, and second set was over, and Jay's still playing with us. And uh, he, Ricky had said if he wants to play the next set, with us the third set so I said do you want to play a third set with us the last set and he's like sure um I offered to pay him and he's like no this was just a blast because Jay's got he's got the ability and it's cool when when Jay comes up there and jams with Ricky because there's no ego yeah because you know Ricky will look at him hey you can have the solo if you know the solo hit the solo and they have played off of each other one time I've got a video of them going back we were doing uh uh what Van Halen song did we do? Oh my God! No, 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 no! It starts with eruption. Oh my God! <laughs> anyway, so I, I feel like an idiot because I can't figure out the song that we're doing. But they go back and forth, and it's like a ten-minute solo of them just going back and forth, and it was good because there's Ricky, who's not as experienced as Jay. He's young. Jay, he's young. Jay can play the heck out of anything out there. Yeah. He's just he's got a lot of talent. Yeah. Um, and it's cool when you have you know there's a good a good mix when you can have a guy come in and say, Hey, sure, if you want me to play a set with you, to have him be able to sit in. But you know the history of Jay, John, Warren and I yep. late eighties. Late 80s, man. We're that jamming. was a time of the life, right? Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Practicing in Jay's house down in his basement. And I got a bunch of scrap carpet from actually the savings bank. We had it wrapped everywhere because it made it so, you know, nice. It didn't echo and everything. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that guy, he can, you know, he does a lot of stuff. He plays with painted black, too. Yep. And uh, he can play the, he's, he's one of the best yeah. in this area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Even that. Ricky will tell you that. I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's a, he's a very laid back guy. I'd love to have you get him on this show, but I'll tell you what, he's, with what he does and his schedule, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know all about booking musicians so, <laughs> and how hard it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of them know me, thank God, and be like, when do you want me there? Yeah. I got that a lot. Yeah, that's cool. But some I had to earn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we and check still, you, out, you know, and, and I, I know there's a couple of people that you've tried getting on here, and I got it. I'll defend them to the to the till the end of time. Yep. Uh, their their schedules. Yeah, they're busy. Like um, I am. I get and it. And one of my buddies that has a baby. Yep. Um, beautiful little girl, yep. and he'll be like, people will talk to me. He's like, I gotta go. I got a daughter at home, yep. and his wife. You know, she's. She's there, but he still wants to I get know home. You're and talking I'm like, about, and I get it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, I'm not he, mad at him. I think he's phenomenal. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's a great talent. Great talent. <laughs> you know, like I said, I've you know I've gotten myself to the point where I've got a lot of friends of mine that have are very talented. Yeah, and you do. it's it, it's cool to to be around these guys and just to watch them. Um, I know a lot of you know, like he. Um, He's asked me for a schedule, and he's like, you know, if I can get out there to see you, I'm going to. But I'm like, you don't have to because I know the way your schedule is. It's like Justin. I don't expect to see Justin at a show because you know what? You know, Justin and I have talked about this. You're going 24-7 in the weekend that you do have off. You just want, to you want to spend it at home with your, your family or do whatever you want. So, you know, when we, like us musicians, when I see... You know, the one when we were at 233, 
Scotty was there yep. from as if yep. um, Steve was there I just about shit when I looked over I went up to get a drink and Jennifer looked at me she goes I think that's Roy and Debbie and I looked over I haven't seen Roy outside the show from the United Legion when he would be there yeah he was up at 233 and hung out um, the, the uh, oh my god who was it Eric Eric from uh, EV. EV. Yep. Yes, I'm sorry, Eric. No. Um, he was Cesare. there. He was there. He was. Uh, but it's cool when the musicians could come out there and support each other because, yeah. and it does mean a lot because, like I said, if they can come there and support you, they're coming on a night that they I've have off. I've said that from day one, and it's happening all over the place. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm not taking part for it. I mean, you guys all support each other. Well, and it's 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 it's, it's you know it's. We're a community. Yeah. And I mean... Me and Z say it perfect. We're all in it together. Z who? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, Anthony. Anthony. You know, I got to tell you, I was going to bring... How do you not know Z? <laughs> you were just on a show. <laughs> Listen, that whole toothpick thing. Um, he laughed You remember busting my balls over Olive Garden? Do we want to tell that story, Lynn? Oh, my God. Was that... <laughs> who was just talking about that? It's Where a was, legendary story. It only no, happened in October. Who the heck was <laughs> I just with him that was brought up? It's a legendary story. It really is. But, dude, when that came through yeah. and Grogan brought that up. Yep. Dude, I watched that spot. What? There's three minutes where you're talking about nothing but me. And I'm <laughs> laughing my ass off. I watch it probably 20 yeah, times. Yeah. And I laugh just as hard as the first time. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, 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 it's... You were talking it's about show. my arch door, and then it goes into Olive Garden yeah, because yeah, Logan yeah. said the comment about yeah. my arch door. Yeah, and we, were, <laughs> we were dying. But, you know, and that was, when I talked to Justin, because I've talked to Justin quite a few times, like I said, we've become yeah. friends. Yep. And, uh, you know, each show, your show's got a, a, a certain way of going, yeah. and their show, because I had told Justin when that interview was over with, I'm like, honestly, from where it went, because I talked very little about the band. Because I just wanted to be on there and bullcrap with those two. Z goes left a lot. There yeah. ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, and the show, like, you guys were on there talking about wrestling. Yeah. I, Wherever I, it goes, it goes. I don't know anything about wrestling. Yeah. Um, I can talk talk your ear off about racing. Yeah. Okay. I'm a NASCAR guy. Um, but <laughs> when we were on there and I was telling Justin, if you had told me by the end of the interview, we would have been talking about Def Leppard. <laughs> Which we got talking about freaking Def Leppard and some of these things, and it was just your episode, phenomenal. That, there couldn't have been a more perfect episode. I I, I had a good time. <laughs> I had a good time. I'm and, going there in September. Well, Justin's like, you got to come back. Let's yeah. come back on. And Please I'm like, do. Oh, you know, if, if I could, if I could set it up with Kevin, I, Kevin and I would go on there to push the the the, the Browns. Um, it's just. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. And at Utica's not that far. No, it's not. And you didn't Come get to shot. Find out. So, yeah, yeah, you know, you, you made it. <laughs> we were it. there in 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Wasn't it you I had said, am I at the right place? This is where I, I think it was you because yeah. I'm like, Anthony, I'm here. You didn't say anything because yeah. it was. And then I had to text you. I sent you a screenshot of what it looked like and everything. Yeah. I was like, yeah. go in that door. Yeah. <laughs> He's no, that right was there. Cool. And then I felt bad because I brought the captain with me. I brought Captain Morgan. And I brought enough glasses and everything, and <laughs> Justin's like, no, I, I got into it pretty good last night, so I'm like, oh, okay, then I'll drink alone. I can do it. I'm a big boy. <laughs> they were offering me everything. I was like, no, I'm good, man. I'm on an hour of sleep. Yeah, that's, I just uh, get it. <laughs> got the headphones on and everything. I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. I was like, Z, <laughs> <laughs> you want to turn it down a little bit? And he goes, what, is it loud? Yeah. Yeah, it's and loud. And then they, had, they just had Tommy on there. That was yep. a good I well, get it, and I, I I talked to Justin and I talked to Kevin. I felt bad because I didn't get to watch it live and be part of the. Because I, I would have been busting his chops, but you know, the race had got canceled and I ended up watching, listening to the race, and I totally forgot about it. And Jennifer, when I got home, she's like, "Tommy was on disruption." I'm like, "Oh." That's why I didn't see you come. Because they started right off with the Olive Garden story. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you yeah. guys got to be Maybe, ready. maybe. Is that what that, that's what it was. That's where I had seen it. Because I, like I just said, they were they were busting your balls yeah. about it. Hey, you deserve it, dude. Because I do deserve it. The Olive Garden. I got COVID after that trip. <laughs> I deserve that too. With your side salad, do you want some COVID? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I took um, it. 
I got to tell you, though, you know what's funny? is We just went to a an Italian restaurant for Jennifer's birthday out in Utica. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to get in trouble by anybody. Yeah. Um, but it's an Italian steak place. And I got to tell you, first of all, they forgot about us. Because you weren't after our yet. salad, after our salad, it, they came by and they said, uh, do you want uh, a dessert now? And I looked at the girl and I said, we didn't have dinner yet. We haven't even had our dinner yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she comes back 20 minutes later and she looks at us and she's like, oh, I think they just buzzed me your food. It, it was, it was... Anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Thank God for that salad, food. huh? But I ordered a filet. Yeah. Medium well. And I know there's people that are sitting there saying, that's the wrong way to eat filet. you got to eat it where it's still moving. No, I like a little pink inside. But it was like a piece of leather. And it was cold. Yeah. And it was just like, it sucked. And the amount, it, it was expensive. That stinking steak, the filet, which was a nine ounce which was like that, it was like $39. And then I'm like, well, I would like a salad too. Well, there's an upcharge on that. I'm like, you're charging me $39 for a freaking steak. And then you want to upcharge me another five bucks for the salad. So do you know how many lug rugs I got to lay for this? <laughs> no, you know, I, I get it. I get it. You got to make, you got to make your money. Yeah. But you know what? It's so disappointing to go to this, what's supposed to be a nice restaurant, to have that happen. Yeah. And it wasn't like a mom and pop's restaurant. I don't don't know if it is. I don't think it is a mom and pop's restaurant because there's one in Syracuse and one in there. And Jennifer's like, it's my birthday. I want to go to this. Because I had never been. Like I said, it's an Italian steakhouse. You say yes, dear. Yeah. Better whatever, <laughs> whatever my two girls want. That's right. They they get it. That's right. Um, they're good girls. Yep. Um, yeah. Actually, Jen is coming home this weekend. She's home for a couple of weeks, and then she's going back out. Yep. Um, but yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping Jenna doesn't want to go there. I I did tell Jennifer if, if they wanted to go, I would give it a second chance. And that give it a second thing, chance, and then judge it from yeah. there. But, you know, I was telling one of my buddies about this, and he's like, well, did you complain? I'm like, no, you know why? It might have been a bad night. Exactly. And you know what? To complain to, and that's why I'm not saying the name of the restaurant. Because it's like, I had a bad experience. Boo-hoo. Poor me. Um, I get it, though. I'll give them a second chance if if the girls want to go there. But, you know, you can complain. It just looks like you're trying to get a free meal out of this. But, you know, one thing I can't stand is somebody's complaining, but they ate everything. It's like, really? This is the worst food I've ever had. Yeah, it's the worst food you ever <laughs> had. But because I did I did complain one time years ago. It was, oh, God, I can't think of what restaurant it was. And this is going back 20, before, I don't even think Jenna was born. So over 22 years ago. And the steak came, and it was nasty. I mean, it was raw. And so I said something. They brought it back out. Still raw. They took it back. Four times. God knows what they did. Did they lick it? Did they drop it on the phone? Did they spit it? Because they're they're getting co- and I'm like, this was stupid. What and they still charged me. Is on they still steak. charged me, and I was just like, okay. Even yeah. I didn't even eat yeah. any more of it because it was gross. But I'm like, hey, it's not worth it. Yeah. Not worth it. Just sit there and say, there you go. There you um, go. But yeah, but Olive Garden, that was horrible that you did that. I know. There are some nice restaurants out there. But then, guess what? Z's taking me to one when I'm back out. There. Oh, screw! Take Z to one. I will take Z to one. Z, they, if they I'm tell taking you it's him to be... Giovanni's here. Big G's. He likes it there. I took oh, okay. him there once. He wants to go back. So when he comes here, we're gonna do that. We're gonna yeah, do lunch. Yeah, the kid lunch. that works with me, he gets. Uh, he gets. He loves Giovanni's. And yeah. it's, um, I'm on medicine for my type two, and ever since then, I can't eat pizza. Hmm. Um, this medicine has got me right. Just even smelling. Since pizza. I had that COVID back in October, that famous story, I can't do cheeseburgers anymore. Oh, no really? hamburger at all. I don't you know, know. I used to love that. If you want, you guys, you and Alex, if you want to try the best 
the best smash burger <laughs> you smash could burger. ever get. <laughs> this oh is now God. the Food Network. <laughs> this is I apologize. Seven Hamlets. <laughs> okay. The cat's name is Ryan. I can't think of what uh, the food truck or something. I don't know if it's. I can't think of it. But go to Seven Hamlets. Ryan will take care of you. He's a great guy. But Seven Hamlets makes the wickedest smash burger, and then they put a sauce on it that, oh, maybe Thursday I'll have to go. <laughs> got your mouth watering, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three Bastards has got some good food now. They've got that's the new place over in Vernon. They've got some good food. Yeah. Um, Three Bastards. <laughs> yeah. They're Sorry, at, YouTube. No, no. It's mm. that's the name of the place. It is. It is. It is. Um, but uh, I guess the, the guy that owns Devils, I think it's still Devils, he's got his hands in there and there's a couple other people. But uh, yeah, it's a cool, It's I think it's been open for two or three weeks now. It's a cool place, man. You just go in there and they've got like this, you sit right in the middle and they've got this huge table and it's got a massive fire pit in the center of it. Yeah. And it's got slate all around it and you can like sit there, eat, it's big enough where you can set your drink, but it's, you're far enough where it's not making your drink warm. But you can also sit there, like right now, it would be great to have something like that right here, yeah. right now, so we could sit there. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> but that me talking about that's warming me up. So, um, But that's, that's a cool place. I actually want ice cream. <laughs> uh, no, ice cream is... Hey, what are you doing with that sign? Can I keep it here to promote it? Um, or are you... Do you yeah, yeah, if you... Yeah, but can I'll, I keep this to promote you too? I'll promote you, man. Yeah. Look what you've done for me. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> Leave them both here. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna. I gotta have this that's one before the twentieth. Okay. That's a big deal too. Don't just sit there and say that one's a big deal. That, that one's a big deal I know too. It's a big deal. Look, well, you, you can see the a... difference. <laughs> I'm glad to see that they put the put us in black. Yeah. Because the poster. You need that back. Because I got not not robots coming tomorrow. After that, yeah. you can have it back. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. I'll get it for you, for you cool? before the 20th, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, ask them if it's okay if they have that there. You ought to tell them, people, if you've got signs, bring them, put them on it yeah. or something. If you guys got signs, bring them on. There you go. <laughs> you know, I feel kind of cheesy when I was setting them up because it's like, well, you know what? It's a show that's supposed to promote bands you and were. everything. And that's so, fine. Yeah. Um, but going back to the whole show, so we got a lot of cool shows this yeah. year that are going to be fun. Um, and the way we're doing it is we do it it's not it's just a hobby for us and so you know john went to florida for two weekends you know friday from this until the next and so we didn't book anything then and like ricky's got time off i've got time off and so you know it's i see a lot of bands that are booked every weekend in the same area and it's like we don't want to do that because you know we it's have important a, to have you time yeah, 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 yeah. You know, then we can experience the other bands playing out yeah. there and everything. And that's if if we were going to see Please and on Saturday, we would be at two thirty three yeah. checking one sixty nine out. We enjoy the new guy that they've got, Kyle. Oh, he's wonderful. He's cool. He's coming um, on. Maggie's coming on. I uh, and <laughs> Maggie, gee, love that girl. She's got a great voice. Yeah, and uh, it's just what they're doing right now is 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 great for them um it was cool we went to uh check them out over the vfw a couple weeks ago and i just about died because they're zach yeah and i'm like son of a i'm like dude I'm like <laughs> really and he ended up coming he was playing a couple tunes with them and uh it was nice to see him yeah um but that was that was a cool show and we hadn't seen him in since frogs yeah that frogs yeah i can't even tell you the story that was a surprise for everybody <laughs> no, there's there's a wicked story between papa top and frogs yeah. i'm gonna tell you tell me <laughs> dude <laughs> it is getting chilly out here <laughs> so we went to and the friends we were just talking about this saturday night so we played papa tops we played papa top and kevin had introduced me to Mike. I'd never met Mike before. And I, I was like, hey, what's going on? And I was getting ready. Our set was, you know, getting ready. To, our second set was getting ready to start. So I went back up there. And 
at the end of the show, Kevin looked at me, goes, come here. This is Mike. He's the one that's paying you play. Oh. This is Mike, the owner. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Because all of a sudden I'm like, oh, shit, duh. But I'm also wanting to go back up and, and get, get going. And so we were there talking for a while with him and laughing and everything. And some other people were there. And uh, I'm like, all right, we got to roll. <laughs> so Jennifer is with me and I, you know, introduced Jennifer to Mike and everything. And uh, Mike looked at me and goes, you're probably going to go over to Frogs and watch 169 now, aren't you? Can't hang out here with the owner and your buddy Kevin and everybody. I'm like, Michael, get you. <laughs> I'm like, nope, going home, not doing anything, just going to go home. Jennifer and I get in the Jeep, and I looked at her and I said, we're going to go to Frogs for a quick beer. Say hello to the kids, 169, oh. and leave. We get our drink. I can't say it because you were on YouTube. I did hear you, mother, <laughs> and Jennifer starts laughing. Mike, Kevin. Chrissy, and the other people that we were talking to, showed up at Frogs. Yep. We, we closed the place down when we got through. Do you know how often <laughs> Mary goes to Papa Top? Yeah, that, right and off. that's cool. That's that's a cool thing that they've got going on. So when I say my sponsors, it's back to back Frogs yep. and Papa Top. Well, it's Papa Top and Frogs. Yep. They all support each other. Yeah. It's cool. Well, and that's that. You, you, when you're in business like that, you have to. Yeah. Um, I don't want to promote them, but some of the area flooring stores, we're, we're friends. There's two local flooring stores that uh, we... You good we, with John? Missoula's? Yeah. Yeah. We're good with Missoula's. We're yeah. good with Frost Furniture. Okay. Um, I just worked Saturday. I, I moonlighted for uh, Frost Furniture. I always Furniture. wanted to ask you that, but I didn't know it was going to yeah. start a war. No. Um, <laughs> no, we... Uh, no. Missoula's and us, we're good. Um, we've done a couple jobs, even through COVID. We did some work for them because they had to let their employees, you know, the whole COVID thing. And with Scott and I owning the store, it's, we can do basically anything we want. Yeah. And so they came in and we did a couple jobs for them. No, we're, we're, we're great with them. Good. Um, but, you know, there's another flooring store that, in this area that, you know, they've never asked us. They've never approached us. And... They do great work, but no, I won't. No, um, but yeah, it, it's cool when you have area businesses that can, you know, that you're doing the same thing. Yeah. You know, and I do know that when Jimmy was around running Papa Top um, before Mike, I do know that there was kind of a thing that uh, Marty, when he was in there for the Legion, I, I think it was. Friday, they didn't book Friday nights at the Legion because Papa Top had bands on Friday night. And so I think they kind of try and do the same thing where Frogs, they have bands on one night and Papa Top has it on the opposite night. Yeah. So then this way, which is, it's kind of a cool thing to do. If you can, if you guys can get along like that, yep. that's great. But I have to tell you, I've gotten to know Mike. <laughs> The he's guy's a a, he's he's a trip, but you know what? He's also a genuine guy. I knew he's a him nice... back when he owned City Lanes 10, 12 years ago. Yeah, see, I didn't know he'd owned City yeah. Lanes and everything, yeah. and so um, he's got that pizza joint up in Cas. Yeah, Cas Novi Pizza. And so, uh, yeah, uh, he's he's a funny guy. <laughs> I just started talking to him again. Obviously, he's a sponsor, so we got to do business. Right. So, right. Yeah. No. Know. I knew you when your beard was all black. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the guy from Parks and Recreation. And there's a guy, and he was also in Step Brothers. And the first time I met him, I'm like pulling up his picture. I'm like, look, look you look like this guy. And then you got Kevin, who's always got a, you know, me, 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 me. It's like, shut up, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> He'll bust your balls, too. Right, well, there, that, and that's another guy, like my buddy Ross, that passed. Oh, I never knew Kevin. Yeah. I never even heard a broken rule. Um, because, like I said, the, the music that they play was is not what I dig. And, you know, they don't live around here. 
it, through Russ, I, you know, Broken Rule was playing. Russ would, always had a spring party there at his place. Yep. And we, you know, he's like, come here because Broken Rule's here. And I'm like, hey guys, let's go check out Broken Rule. So we went with my buddy Mike, his brother, Russ's brother. And uh, I walked up to Matt, I'm like, you Kevin? Nope, Kevin's over here, I'll introduce you. So we, we hit it off right off the bat. So I'm thankful to meet a lot of these people, you know, from you and from Russ. Um, and same thing with Grit and Grace. You and Bill you know? did it right off too. You and Bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he was good. He ended up staying that whole time. We stayed until Justin like a, was gone. Alex is like, get home. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, I invite the guy out. But well, you gotta we tell Alex good, when you have a guy a cat come from Syracuse, you gotta hang with I him, know. man. We we had a good couple hours, and yeah. he asked me everything he wanted to ask me, yeah. and it's not like a you know, high and by. Like, right, right. Sorry, you came all this way. Right. No, uh, we had a he's hours. yeah. He we enjoyed talking to him. Got to know him. Um, he's coming back out too for something. <laughs> yeah, he. I sent him. He asked me for a list of shows, so I sent him the list of shows that we've got going on. And, and obviously, uh, he's coming here with two other members of the horn section. Okay. And these will pick it right up with no yeah. problem. Yeah, these are actually pretty cool. Yeah. The fuzzy things. It's yeah. so you can sit here and. <laughs> yeah. can we warm up my arm. <laughs> I know. It's like, but when she had that on me, I was like, yeah, that's. Yeah. Not feeling right, yeah. and it's like, a, like I had my original lapels all charged up because I was going to use them today. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They're right, phenomenal. right, right. But she's like, no, you need to try your new equipment. Yeah, three hundred bucks for this, so I got to try it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we played it back. Like I was out here before we started this, and I was doing. Thought, I'm going to do a pre video for all the sponsors because right. I don't want to take time, you know, sitting there reading them cards sixty times. No, no, because it, <laughs> it, it takes time away from right, you guys. Right. No, that makes sense. Well, no, don't worry. Hey, dude, <laughs> we're making a go. <laughs> How long are we going? I'm not going to just shush. Keep going. I'm going to be your. I'm going to be the one, buddy. <laughs> no, you're not, because I'm getting cold. We're wrapping it up. <laughs> no, actually, I'm. I think I'm frozen now, so I'm like, I'm not chilling, not shaking anymore. You're not chilling. Yeah, I'm chilling. But yeah, I would bring my. Uh, dude, I'm having the time of my life. I really I'd am. bring my leather jacket, but if I wore it, all I'd do is see things from. Kevin, because hey. Kevin, no, Kevin's always buying, he's like, that's plastic. It's like, no, dude, it's not it's plastic. Leather? It's no, it's real, <laughs> it's, I almost said the effort. It's real leather. It's, yeah. We were out, I was so mad. We were doing a show. And I knew you were going to do this to me, so I was prepared. Uh, I went, you do it to me every time. We were at the VFW, <clears throat> and Jennifer's like, don't wear your jacket. Don't wear that thing, because it's lamb. So it's not. Why are you killing lambs? I didn't kill him. So, uh, Peter. <laughs> next thing you know, I'm going through the door with John's drum cart. And I was, I couldn't get it through because at the time my fat ass couldn't fit through with the thing. And there was a, like a hook. And all of a sudden my jacket ripped. <sighs> that lamb wasn't too, uh, Oof. I gotta tell you, when I tell you I was pissed. That wasn't the Incredible Hulk of the land, was it? I was pretty much ready for a fight. I mean, I was hot. And Warren's oh, like, happened. what happened? I'm like, dude, that's just not cool. So now it was good because my cousin's son was there and he's like, he ought to put a patch on it. I'm like, what? I end up, I've got a Grateful Dead patch. I like the dead. The Almond Brothers patch just didn't look right. You'd be grateful when they're all dead? And then there was the maximum effort from Deadpool, which just wouldn't have looked right. So the Grateful Dead cool because it's got the stripes, the red, white, and blue stripes, and it's got it on here so it matches. But yeah, oh, that, that pissed me off. <laughs> Jacket's not even a month old and rip. I was like, oh, dude, you have no idea. I, even, I was telling Jennifer I was so mad that I was ready to just throw that one away and buy a new one. The same one. Just because, piss money away, just like that. Oh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I've got it. You know, just Alex would have a lot to say to me about so that. It was, it was kind of funny because when we played 233, Jennifer's like, don't wear the jacket. I'm like, no, I'm fine because the doorways are big enough. Yeah. And I know how to take John's. And actually, John ended up taking. Like this. <laughs> John took the two things off. He's like, yeah, I don't even know why they're there anymore. So he took those two things off. I'm like, wish we could have talked about that a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good times with, you know, keep rolling with Lynn White. That's right. <laughs> so, all right, I'm cold. All right, me too. We're good. Hey, We're good. from the bottom of my heart, thank you for what you've done for me. 
Thank you for being a sponsor. Hopefully you stick with me. Not a problem. <laughs> we'll see. see oh, I paid up for the year, so. Huh? I'm with you for at least a year. I know. You, you signed a contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'm looking forward to seeing some, some cool people on here. You're gonna, there's going to be a, a lot. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they're cooler than I am. I mean, that's a Nobody, tough. that's impossible. I'll be the first to say that is an impossible thing to do. <laughs> I Better will. watch your ego. You're yeah. gonna get called to the side. Guess what? <laughs> nah. Everybody's everybody's allowed to have a bit of an ego. Everyone, and I will tell you, anybody that's in a band. Guess what? I so, didn't. Listen, <laughs> anybody that's in a band, there's got to be, and and it's it's actually kind of funny because some of the guys that I've talked to that are very shy, and and I'm some of the people that I found out that are very shy. I'm surprised at. Yeah. Seeing that they're shy. I'm not. I'm not shy at all. As I'm, far in the as, off season, when I went out to watch 169, whatever the hell I watched, I don't even remember. I just go sit by myself. I don't go in there. Hey, I'm chilling with Rick. Right. Hey, I'm chilling with Rick. I don't advertise myself. I right. go sit by myself. Well, and it and doesn't because sometimes I get recognized. Sometimes I don't, and that's cool. Some of the musicians I walk up to, I'm like, "Hey, I'm the singer for Before August," and you'd be like, "Who? Oh, yeah. That's cool. You yeah. don't know who I am. That's fine." I, I've, I've done that. Be like, you know, hey, come, Scotty. Hey, hey, this is uh, Rick and chilling with Rick. Oh man, I watch your show. Yeah. That's flattering. That's right. cool. Right. Thank you, right. man. I appreciate it. Right, but we all can have the a little bit of. Ego, yeah, but you got to get yourself in check yeah. and put yourself down. I mean, when we're all playing, we we can have we can be we can have a little bit of an ego because we're doing this right now. This is our for the next three and a half hours. Let us entertain you. Let us act the way we want to. Yeah. But when everybody gets off that stage or off the platform or wherever they're at, um, we all put our pants on the same way yeah. and we all go to well. Unless you're Justin, Isaac, Tim, <laughs> we all go to regular jobs, you know. Um, but me, I carried it. And it was funny because when we were on Disruption Network, and Justin had been talking about a, a box that Tim was probably going to build with lights in it so it lights up when he stands up on it. <laughs> and I had talked to Scotty. I, know, I, I, I don't know if I can say part. Scotty. I don't know if he likes to be called Scotty, D, or Scott. Let's call him Scotty. Uh, 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 likes Scotty, yeah. Um, he likes to be. I was, I was, I was calling. Yeah, he likes to be. That's what I'm gonna <laughs> Just do. Stop, so. stop with that. Because if you if you want it to be G rated, stop. While you're ahead. So, Scott, Scott and I were talking. I can pick on him. Uh, yeah, but so Scott and I were talking, and because he was out looking for pallets, and I'm like, "What do you pick? What do you need a pallet for?" He gets explaining. I'm like, "Ah." So I got thinking about what Justin says. Justin laughed his ass off because last weekend I said, I got an ego box. He's like, what? I built an ego box. He's like, what? And I showed him the picture. So the box that I built, it lights up and I stand up and it's called an ego box because I'm like, look at me. Look at me. Don't look at them. Look at me. I'm like, I've got lights underneath me and everything. And yeah. I could see Moyer doing that. That's the sad part. <laughs> he doesn't need it. Everybody's watching him. Everybody um, watches him. The, uh, yeah. And one of, uh, I have a good friend of mine that's a teacher, and she wants to use it for her class. She's like, oh, my God, can I use that for my class? Because I think that student, yeah, you can use it if it'll help you. She's, she teaches pre-K. Yeah. So anything to get the kids' attention, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> but, yeah, it's my ego box. And so I am going to keep this because you are a sponsor. It's very important for me to promote. Yeah, that. we don't even use that. Good. We used I'm it. Gonna we use did it. the uh, when we did the uh, fall thing last year for Oneida PD. So before August, Oneida carpets, you're covered. That'd be cool. Can we have pleasant phone conversations from here on out? Because I'm planning on minding my business. Hey. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> You keep your nose out of trouble. I am. I am. You don't have to get that nope. phone call from me. Because I know when it's coming. Hey! I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Without getting into the whole thing, all I can tell you is yep. that Steve and I were talking that night. and yep. We're good. Yep. That's all good. Um, why? Is, oh, look, at you even saved yourself a water. Yeah. No. No, I you didn't. can drink your water. No, I don't need my water. I got my beer. I can't drink my other beer because there's a lot of alcohol in those. Yeah. And it's like. I get it. 
If you guys stuck with me this long, God bless you. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> yes, we got we another. Are. <laughs> Good. We've got one minute. Okay, we can make. We can we can make that. I, I can say goodbye in a minute. I got a lot to say on the goodbye. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Likes are in the it was really nice talking to all you guys. I hope you enjoy oh, you want to talk? I want to talk. All right, so listen. <laughs> Chilling with Rick, thank you for... You know. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. It. <laughs> Likes aren't that important to me. I mean, it's cool to get them. But I need you guys to share this around. Because a lot of you might know musicians who've never seen my show. Or stuff like that. Please share. <laughs> <laughs> You ever been beat up on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a first. You can try. No. Hey. Oh, no, nope, I'm not trying. Follow us on Facebook. August. Yes. Before you can find August us on Facebook. We May don't have a webpage. May 20th, Catstock. Um, not Robots 169, Before August, One Man the Band. D-Dub. D-Dub. Shane Archer. Shane Archer Reed. We just did 50 shirts for Shane Archer Reed for his CD release. Did you say 169? Yes, I did. They need to just change their name to 169. Alex, my fiance, just did 50 shirts for Shane Archer Reed. She my did fiance. 25. My, she did 25 shirts for Trigger Finger. Um, so we might be in the shirt. Trigger business. Finger's another band that I got to know through that. He's through Ty's Russ. wonderful. Ty. Yep. 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 I did um, lunch with him a few weeks ago. Um, did you buy or did he buy? I bought for him. Damn. He, he drove out. Did you go to Burger King? No, we went to Giovanni's. Damn. What? Yeah. Oh, Big cheese. Okay. All right. All right. That's yeah. what he wanted. Um, <laughs> I am going to say one man the band. Thank you for putting this show together. Yes, it's Logan, be a blast. you are the man. It, it was, you are I the do, man of one man the band. I will tell you that one. Uh, Logan and I had been talking, and a couple times he tried getting it where we could be there. And I think when that show last year, when two was done, I think the next day he was texting me. He's like, dude, how about this date for next year? Yeah, I'm available. He's like, Done. set. Done. Yep. He had already had the date set, so it, it worked out. And so, yeah. Did we make an hour? <laughs> we made way more than an hour, didn't we? Yeah. Well, how long was your speech in the beginning? What, 20 minutes? At least. Yeah, That's why it's going to be pre-recorded. <laughs> Everybody. Painful mango. Oh, my God. That's right. You want to see my Thank underwear? Thank you guys for watching. Please share. I no, I don't want to see your mushroom underwear. You <laughs> Bye.